What is up? You are checking out the Uncensored Pro Wrestling Podcast. I am your host, current and longest reigning WWE pay-per-view champion of all time. And I am the hot commodity one you all came to see and see. And joined by my good friend, co-host, opponent for tonight's uh, predictions episode. Introduce yourself, sir. My name is Christian. I'm going to... And someone's driving a motorcycle going 100 miles an hour past my house. But I'm Christian, and night two, I think it's going to be better than night one. Um, really? Yeah, I okay. do. Um, just because uh, the main event, and uh, I don't know. I always like the Sundays. The Sunday, uh, I always like night two last year, I thought it was better than night one. Besides, okay. the roads come back. But well, yeah, listen. I'm, excited. I'm excited for night two, just as I'm excited for night one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, so there's only one more match different on night two. But yeah, night two has a lot of bangers. And we are talking about WrestleMania 39, night two happening tomorrow night, Sunday, April 2nd, live from SoFi Stadium in Hollywood. WrestleMania goes high. Would you like that introduction? That was pretty cool. Uh, and uh, we are giving you our predictions for night two. The first match we're talking about is a match that I'm not looking forward to. A match of the two giants. You got Omos, the Nigerian giant, taking on the beast, Brock Lesnar. Brock's been looking pretty weak in this uh, up momentum coming into this match. He's been sort of backing down from Omos. Omos has been attacking Lesnar. We're well, not attacking Lesnar, but uh, he has. He sort of showed Brock Lesnar out of the ring. He was able to uh, take him over the ropes. Uh, he actually made Lesnar leave the ring. Uh, Lesnar was able to have five MVP. A lot of just random stuff, randomness in this match. Just the matches determine who's going to be the bigger guy. We know that Brock pick, picked this match to happen at WrestleMania. But Christian, I'll throw it to you. Who do you think is leaving Mania the winner here? I want to say Brock Lesnar. Um, I feel like Omos hasn't done much to to prove he 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 has anything he he just doesn't interest me he's slow boring doesn't cut any promos has mvp doing everything for him i think brock lesnar is going to take an easy paycheck and call it a, call it a career okay i agree like i think i exact thought process i think lesnar is going to finally annihilate omas he's been looking afraid it will be cool to see if he can lift up on Omos and hit an F5 because Omos is huge. But other than that, it's more of a spectacle than a match. Lesnar's going to be out after this, I feel like. So, yeah, I think Brock Lesnar's going to win this one here at WrestleMania. Let's talk about the next match, though. It's a fatal four-way women's tag match, WrestleMania Showcase. We have the team of Liv Morgan and Raquel Gonzalez. Gon Gonzalez. Da -da -da -da. Is it Gonzalez or Rodriguez? It was Gonzalez, but sorry. Oh, okay, Rodriguez. Sorry, let me go fuck myself. They got Natalia and Shotzi, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler, and Sonya Deville and Chelsea Green. I think Ronda Rousey and Shayna are going to win this one just because the tag team division for the women sucks. We need new women's tag team champions. Shayna and Ronda need to prove their dominance. You have two UFC just killers in there. They need to get the win. Which team do you think is going to win? I think Ronda and and uh, Shayna. I do think Ronda and Shayna as well. Okay, uh, but I I think uh, I don't know because I I do I want to see them turn on each other. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they turn on each other. You know what? I think yeah they're going to win, and I think Ra uh, Shayna is going to turn on Ronda. Like when they like just like Miz did to Logan Paul, they won, celebrated. Shayna beats the shit out of Ronda. They fight okay. outside. Choice. Yeah, and remember, there was like Natalia did make a promo on the SmackDown that I went to where she's basically like, You're in Ronda's shadow. So let's not forget that. Shayna yeah. might be so upset about that. Well, the next match we're going to talk about is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. The champion Gunther defending against Drew McIntyre and Sheamus. And this is a European, this is like World War III, a European conquest, man. These three men are going to annihilate each other in this match. I know who I think is going to win. Uh, Drew and Sheamus have gone at it in the past. They've been partners. They've been enemies. Sheamus has had two opportunities against Gunther, and he's lost both. 
match of the year last year against Gunther in the class of the champions. This could be match of the night. I think it's leaving WrestleMania 39 Intercontinental Champion. Don't forget Gunther's long title reign. Who do you think is leaving? I think Sheamus will be leaving. As much as I'm repping Drew McIntyre right now, I think Sheamus will be leaving. Uh, he wants it more than anybody. Uh, he has two, like you said, he's had chances. He's messed up. Um, and I, I think he, he's he's looking to make sure Drew McIntyre doesn't win it because he Drew McIntyre kind of went behind Sheamus's back. Knowing Sheamus wanted another shot. But again, I can see Drew McIntyre winning, but I think this is finally Sheamus's time. It should have been his time at Clash, and it's his time at WrestleMania. Okay, you see, you think Sheamus. Well, I think just like me, the the person who's walking into WrestleMania three and I is going to walk out the champion. Gunther, I think, is going to win. There's no purpose for anyone but Gunther to win. Sheamus lost twice. What is the if Sheamus was bound to win, he would have won at Clash at the Castle. Drew McIntyre is good, but he needs to win it at another show. I think Gunther needs to win at WrestleMania. He hasn't really done much with the title since he's been champion. And I think he needs to prove his dominance tonight. I think you're going to get a last symphony. I think Gunther is going to be the one conducting it. I think Gunther is going to be the intercontinental champion leaving WrestleMania. Okay. But Sheamus, listen, Sheamus is a killer. I'd love to see him get an opportunity, but I don't think it's close. Yeah, three-man war. Well, speaking of a war, these two women are going to go to war at WrestleMania 39. It was for the WWE Royal Women's Championship. The Royal Women's Champion, Bianca Belair, defending against against Asuka. The only build for this is that Asuka won the Elimination Chamber match to get a title shot. Listen, Bianca Belair has been World Royal Women's Champion for over a year. She defeated Becky Lynch last year at WrestleMania for the title. This year, I think Asuka is going to be the one to defeat Bianca. Bianca has nothing left to prove as champion. She's gotten stale in my eyes. I love her. I think she's a great competitor. But if anyone needs a title, it's Asuka. She's been dominant. She's mysterious. The fans love her. I love her. We also need to turn heel. And uh, I think Asuka's leaving WrestleMania champion. What do you think? I think Asuka's leaving Raw or uh, SmackDown. I meant WrestleMania. My mind went blank. Asuka's <laughs> leaving WrestleMania Raw Women's Champion. Um, like you said, Bianca's time's over. Um, Oscar is dominant as hell. She's probably like uh, she's top five. Um, so she she needs a title around her waist and uh, time for a new champion. But uh, I think they'll run it back at SummerSlam and hopefully have a better story to it. Yeah, because this storyline isn't isn't that good. I'm gonna take a quick break, and when we come back, we're gonna discuss more. One. And welcome back. We are still the Uncensored Wrestling Podcast. I am still your Longest reigning WWE pay per view champion, the hot commodity, joined by my friend and uh, opponent tonight. Introduce yourself again, sir. My name's Christian. Oh, shit. And I dropped my phone. And uh, let's continue talking about uh, WrestleMania. And he's dropped his phone. Our next match is a special Hell in a Cell match. This match has been months in the making. We're getting the demon Finn Balor taking on the devil, as much as he calls himself, Edge. Uh, this is going to be a match. That has been months in the making, as I said before. We've seen Edge's wife get attacked with a concerto. We've seen Edge get back at Finn Balor. Edge created the Judgment Day. Finn Balor ended up revolutionizing it and taking over the team, getting rid of Edge. These two are finally going to go at it. Who do you think is uh, walking out of WrestleMania, the winner of Hell in a Cell? This is going to be a hell of a match. This is hard. Um, But... Woo. This is a little one I gotta think of, but I'm mostly I'm really excited for this match. But I, I I think I think there's no beating Demon Finn. Um, I think Demon Finn's gonna get the win here. Uh, I know Edge needs to get the win because um, just the storyline purpose, it just makes the most sense. But I think. I don't know. I think it, with Finn winning, it just makes it makes it. Edge has been looking weak, so he's just gonna. I don't know. I think I. I just 
I don't know what to say too much because again, Edge hasn't appeared too much mm-hmm. on. We just know the story, but like he hasn't appeared too much since like WrestleMania to like, I don't know. So, but I I don't know. I think Finn's gonna win. Well, here is my thought. I'm just gonna say this: Edge has always overcome his demons, and he's gonna overcome this demon at WrestleMania. And Edge is gonna walk out the winner of Hell in a Cell. Don't bet against Edge, my man. Every time we do it. I end up wrong. So I'm going with Edge. I think he's going to beat Finn Balor. He's, like you said, he needs to win. Uh, and, and I think he's going to find a way to win with this being Hell in a Cell. He's going to use everything in his power. I'm going to get a lot of surprises here, and I'm really looking forward to this. And it's not the Red Cell, which is exciting. It's going to be the normal Hell oh, in a yeah, Cell. Yeah, I know. Well, this is the match that everyone has been looking forward to. The WWE Undisputed Championship, the champion Roman Reigns defending against the American Nightmare, the Tribal Chief against the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. This is a match that has been, I would say, years in the making in terms of Cody going from top guy in one company against another top guy. Finally, these two guys are going to meet face to face. You know, Roman has been saying that your father would rather have me as a son He's been taunting Cody as much as possible, but everything he has thrown at Cody, Cody has been able to overcome and defeat. So, Christian, I'm going to throw it to you again. Who is leaving Mania champion? Roman Reigns. Um, I know that's ballsy, but if the Usos, if I have the Usos retaining, I have to have Roman retain. Bloodline stays strong. Um... Look, I don't know who's gonna. I don't. Uh, it it sucks because there's a real, 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 real good chance Cody walks out champion, but I don't know. I don't think it's. I don't know, man. It's hard. This WrestleMania is very hard. It is hard. I think. It's hard to... I think Roman's going to win, though. I agree. I think that Cody might get a chance at SummerSlam to get it, but I think it's too early for Roman to lose. I know he's been champion for a long time at this point, but... Uh, he's he's, he's going to hit his 1,000 days. He's going to hit that, and I think uh, I think Cody's going to get the win at SummerSlam or another match, but uh, another card. But at WrestleMania, I think Roman Reigns is going to remain supreme. I think the bloodline is going to come to an end soon, though. I don't think it's going to be the same as it was. I think we're going to get a new version of it. And uh, I think Roman is going to remain on top. But I do think Cody is going to be closing in soon. But Roman, just like me, walking into WrestleMania champion, can be walking out as champion. Well, listen, we we kind of blew through that one. That was a lot of uh, a lot of thoughts here for that one. WrestleMania Night 2 is dropping this Sunday. We got so many great matches. Edge versus Finn Balor and Hell in a Cell. Asuka taking out the Royal Women's Champion, Bianca Belair. Brock Lesnar versus Omos. We got that women's tag team showcase. Green third of the Continental Championship against Sheamus and Drew McIntyre. And the Undisputed Champion, Roman Reigns, the Fenny against Cody Rhodes. Those matches are all blockbusters. I'm excited, Christian. I know you're excited. It's going to all kick off tomorrow, Sunday, April 2nd. With that in mind, you guys have a good night. Enjoy WrestleMania 39 night. Stay safe and stay uncensored. Bye.